All right, I'm back again, just knocking these out for you. So today we're going to look at a new feature. It's nothing, you know, mind blowing, but I thought it was a nice little twist. Um, I'm going to actually show you two things here, uh, just because I think I can fit them in and they're not too, too lengthy. Um, the one thing I always, you know, dealt with that was a little bit odd was if you don't have at least 10 or 11 stars on a team, you can't have nine, you can't have 12 or more or nine or less. The game will freeze. The, the, when you go to load the game up, it'll freeze um, for that team. So what I did is I added this section here in the very top right where you can now see the breakdown for golds, silvers, bronze and then these are coppers and and coppers really are not in the game coppers are more for you to track and coppers are basically for players that are not tiered that don't have stars but they have abilities so if you have a generic or a player that just doesn't have any stars if they have an ability at least one or more they're considered to be a copper so so, but what you're going to want to do here is you, this is a quick way to check if you have more than 11 or less than 10 stars. So right now I have two, three, six, which makes five plus six, 11. So I have 11, you know, total between gold, silver, and bronze. And that just tells me, you know, quickly how many I have on this team. And so you can go through and, you know, you can, you can just check as you're, as you're building your roster. So that's number one. The second thing is you know you can now see the division on here i'm going to lock this down because changing divisions so like afc east and all that like we used to have or we have an nfl they have different ones they have like the atlantic south atlantic north east central um they actually have slots for every region but the game only uses three out of the four for each side because there's only 24 teams that they put in the season, but there is a slot and I've played around with it and it doesn't really seem to unlock anything. But the problem though, is that if you start changing these divisions in the editor, the, when you go into a season, it will break the season, um, randomly. Uh, I think it's a, it's just, there's something deeper that, that just doesn't like you moving teams around. So my, my goal was to, was to, unlock the ability to move your divisions around so you can, you know, so you can create your own conferences and, and not have to worry about, you know, placing them per team. But like I said, you know, it's not, it's not really working well in, in the game. So I don't think that it's going to be uh, operable. But the second part to this that I thought was a nice, um, at least a nice token is that you can click on this football here and you're going to see exactly where the teams fall in the divisions in the game. The X's stand for the user control teams and the non X teams are the CPU. So this is like a high level, quick overview of the layout that you have for your teams and your roster file. And it's pretty cool. You know, you can put like, I want the bills, the jets and the Patriots and dolphins. I want all these teams to be together. So you need to play around and once you go into the season, you're going to see they're going to play twice. Um, you know, like every other division, they play the same, you know, teams twice throughout the season. That's kind of what I was shooting for here to get the realism of the NFL. So if you were to click on any of these links here, you're going to be taken to that team. So that's just a quick navigation thing. And like I had mentioned, the goal, the idea was to change this and you know, changing that would take you to the, you know, would have moved you over to, see, I just moved him, moved the bills from the south to the, you know, to the north. But like I said earlier, the, um, the game doesn't like that. So I'm gonna end up locking this down, but this will be available for you to at least take a view and, and see how your teams lay out. So, that's what's coming in the next version. I, um, 
I think it's a nice little feature. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any questions, comments, leave them below. I'll be doing more of these videos to just give you guys a quick in and out. Um, because I used to just give a 20, 30 minute video that had everything inside. And now I'm trying to, you know, chop them up into small pieces for you guys to, you know, to, to enjoy and, you know, pick and choose what you think you, you need to learn. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you next time. Peace out.